Hey everyone, today I've got a quick video on how to run your own Beam MP server, which is a multiplayer mod for Beam NG. Um, if you head over to the Beam MP website, you can see this download link to download a server. Once that's downloaded, you can extract the file to a desktop or wherever you like. Rename this and put it in a single folder to keep track of which servers. I'll also show you how to run multiple Beam MP servers. So if you're running this on a Windows machine, open up the Windows folder and the beammpserver.exe. You may get this error if you have a new install of Windows. If you've had your computer a long time, most likely you'll have Visual Studio installed. But if you don't, head over to the Visual Studio download. Um, I'm just going to do it here because this is a new Windows Server setup. So you don't have to run this on a Windows Server, but for the server to be constantly running, you're going to need your computer on all the time. All right, once that's installed, uh, you can go back and run the same beammp server.exe. Uh, it should come up something like this on your first run, and this will essentially create more files uh, that you can edit. Once that's run, you can open up the server config file uh, using Notepad, and this will be where all your settings live. You can change any of these settings to suit what you need. But essentially, uh, where it says name will be how you rename the server. You'll also want to change uh, where it says private to false if you want the server to be publicly available. Uh, you can in here. You can also change number of how many cars you want, how many vehicles uh, one user can spawn at the same time. What you'll first want to do is get your authenticator key. Uh, you can do that by going to the BeamMP website documentation in Keymaster. That will then give you a key. You're only limited to either one or two keys when you first start up and then you can uh, pay for their Patreon if you want to run more servers. Um, each server will have its own key. So. Um, if you go into the key master keys and then create your own and copy the key and then just paste it into this section of the config file that says authenticate key. Uh, now when you're naming the beammp server there's uh, more documentation on their website on if you want to change the color of the name. Which you can see that I've done up the top there so it will be uh, this little symbol, say if you want green, it will be the symbol number two and then text after that will be green. Um, if you want to reset back to default after the text, you put the symbol and then the letter R um, and then basically you can create whatever color you want in the server name. In the server maintenance tab, you'll see a list of all the vanilla maps. Uh, you can just copy and paste uh, the name here um, into the map section to have your server run on that map, which you can also do with mods. If you need to add mods, uh, you go into the resources folder and create a new folder called client. Um, and in that client folder, you just put the zip of any mod you want, car mods or map mods. If it's a map, you'll just have to change the name in the config to the map name. All right, that's uh, pretty much it. The only other thing you'll need to do is open up your port number. I'm not gonna go into depth in this video on how to open up the port. Um, there's plenty of videos online how to open up ports on your modem router. If you're having issues with that, uh, you've looked at all the tutorials and can't seem to get it to work, it's, it's possible that it's your ISP not allowing the port to be open. Um, so check with your ISP. Um, I've had that problem in the past. You can find the port number in the config file and by default it'll be 30814. Um, but feel free to change that. Um, to run multiple servers, you simply will just duplicate the beammp server folder and change the port number and the authenticator key in the new folder. Okay, now all you need to do is run the beammp server.exe uh, and you're good to go. Uh, please subscribe and thanks for watching.